Hey YouTube! When I was younger, I used to love playing with balsa wood airplanes, and I actually found one at a store recently. It looks something like this. It was a lot of fun. I was so excited when I found it. This was fun, but I was like, you know what? I could probably make this twice the size. This has a 12 inch wingspan. I could make a super balsa wood airplane that has a 24 inch wingspan. And here it is. Ta da! The super balsa wood airplane. This thing is a lot of fun, and I actually have a clip to show you of me throwing it. There you go. Nice. That was good. So you can see the different parts of the airplane. You have the wing and the two parts of the tail. And I also have a weight again in the front. I used a large clip and I put a rock on the inside as a weight. You could probably use anything. I thought a rock would be the easiest. I also put some duct tape on it so that it would stay on uh, when the airplane would land because this thing would a lot of times would come off. So the different pieces you're going to need to make this are balsa wood. You can get this at any craft store. I went to Michael's and you're going to need a balsa wood sheet to make the wings and the tail pieces. And here I'll zoom in on it. It's 3 30 seconds of an inch thickness by 4 inch width by 36 inch length. You're also going to need the body of the vehicle or of the airplane and that's going to be one half inch, it's going to have a one half inch width, a one half inch thickness and a 36 inch length. So again that's one half by one half by 36 inches and each of these pieces cost around two to three bucks so you're looking for, you're looking at about six dollars to make the airplane. You're also going to need some sort of weight. You could probably duct tape it on, but I like using these clips. You're going to need either a utility knife or a hobby knife. Either of these will work just fine. You're going to need some duct tape and a hot glue gun. So let's get this started so you can start enjoying your super balsa wood airplane. Okay, so the first step is to cut the one half inch by one half inch by 36 inch piece of balsa wood. This is the body of the airplane. And I'm gonna, I, as you can see, I put lines here with a, piece, with a pen at 20 inches. I also put a piece of cardboard down, and this is to protect the desk that I'm working on when I'm cutting the balsa wood. And you, you probably would want to do this to protect anything that you're cutting on. Um, I've already cut th three of the surfaces, uh, just making a score, and I'm gonna make the fourth one now so you can see how I did it. I'm gonna go down about a quarter of the way. I'm gonna keep going over and over again on the line so that I'm making a nice score line. Okay, so I think all four sides are cut. So now I'm actually going to break them. I'm going to put my thumb on each side of the balsa wood. I'm going to pull towards myself, both ends. And I'm going to keep going back and forth. And there we go. And here's your 20 inch body piece of the vehicle. This is the body of the, of the plane. I'm going to clean off these ends a little bit. Just with the utility knife make it nice and smooth. Okay, so the next step is to actually cut the body of the airplane so you can fit the wings through it. This will be the larger wing in the front and the smaller wing in the back. And as you can see, I already pre-marked these so that it made it a little bit easier. This was made, so this is for the front wing, this is that 24 inch wing that I showed you from the beginning. Uh, this is four inches back from the front, so I designated this as my front of my plane and this is four inches back from there. I then drew a line that's four inches back as well. So this line here is where the actual wing is going to be fitted into the body of the airplane and this is four inches in length. Okay, then to do this, the smaller wing in the back of the airplane, this is a three inch long uh, line that I drew similar to the one up front. Made sure that I was halfway through the body of the airplane and then I just drew the line. So I'm going to do this on the opposite side of the body of the airplane. So I'm just going to flip this twice. That's one, two, and now I'm going to do the same thing. So now after I made my first score, I'm actually going to make another score that's a slightly above and slightly below the line that you drew. Because you want this to be almost like a box. Because you're going to have to fit that 3 30 seconds inch thickness of the the wing of the vehicle of the plane through the center portion. So I'm just going to make a score just a little bit further down from the line. And this can be tricky again. This can, you know, the utility knife can move back and forth. Just take your time. You're going to keep scoring it. Cuz you want to go thicker, deeper and deeper into the balsa wood. And we're also going to make another score above the line. 
that you just drew. So I'm going to keep making this deeper until I can get almost to the other side. So here I am on the other side of the, of the body of the airplane. I'm going to do the same thing, making a score slightly above the line that we just drew. I'm making another score slightly below the line that you just drew. You want to try to go like around halfway through the thickness of the body of the plane. I'm making little score marks on each end so maybe I can pop it out eventually. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And now here comes the fun part. You're going to have to push this piece that you just cut out through the body of the vehicle so you can take it out. If you want, you can actually use a flathead screwdriver or something that's flat and dull to actually push the pieces through. I'm using the end of the utility knife, but you could use whatever you'd like. Okay, you can see I made a little bit more progress. Again, using something like a flathead screwdriver to clean out the inside portions actually works great. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see right there we have a hole made. And this is where the actual uh, wings of the airplane are going to go through. Now we're going to do the same thing to the tail portion. Okay, I made my score lines on the one side. Now I'm going to flip it over twice to the other side so you can see exactly on the opposite side here. Making the same score lines a little bit above and a little bit below the line we just drew. I try to make small uh, vertical score marks on each side so that when you actually break this piece out, um, it doesn't pull on the rest of the balsa wood. So again, making score marks vertically very tiny. This again is making that box that we're trying to make. And now I'm going to use the tail or the flathead screwdriver to push through. There we go. And there, we made our box for the tail of the airplane. So you can see we're going to do the tail. I'm going to flip it over here and I'm going to make a three inch line uh, mark on the top of the airplane. We drew the line. And we're going to do the same process as before. You're going to be cutting above and below the line that you just made. And you don't need to make, do not make this deeper than the thickness here. Because if you do, you're going to be breaking through into this area here and you don't want to be in here. You only want to make like a slight groove. I'm cutting through and you can see the pieces coming off. Again, I'm going to make a little score uh, on the end vertically. Okay, and there that popped right out. So see this V-shaped trough that we just made? And that's where our tail is actually going to be fitted into. Okay, so next get your 36 inch or your 332nd by 4 by 36 inch piece of balsa wood. And from the one end you're going to measure out 12 inches. So there I made the 12 inch mark and then from this mark I'm going to measure out another 12 inches to get your 24 inch wingspan. And now we're going to cut it over here to get our total length of 24 inches. Now next, so now we have our 24 inch by 4 inches. And uh, what I'm going to do is, you can just eyeball this. I'm going to round off these corners. That way when you're throwing the airplane, these aren't these sharp corners don't hit anything. I'm just going to eyeball this. This isn't anything particular. I just like to do this so that the corners aren't sharp. Do the same thing to the bottom. Again, just drawing the line. And simply cut. Okay, so the next step now will be to actually bend the balsa wood. So here you can see I went to the sink and I wetted the balsa wood in this general area. You can see the water. I did it on both sides. So you can see it's kind of wet. Now what I'm going to do is be very careful with this point. At this point, um, I'm going to try to put as much surface area on the top of the airplane as I can. And you're going to try to bend it down. So I'm like bending the two ends of the airplane towards me this way. So I'm pushing the center portion down towards my desk. I just do this very lightly and gently and keep repeating it over and over again with your thumb. So I'm going to start from the top here with my thumb uh, at the 12 inch mark. I'm going to push down slightly with my thumbs very gently because you don't want to break the balsa wood. I'm going to go all the way down to the other side. And uh, get the other portion that you cut off from before and uh, you're going to be making the tail.
Alright, so now the smaller tail, the smaller wing of the airplane is 9 inches. So from one end, I, I'm going to do it from the side that I didn't cut. So this is the side that was originally there, it's nice and flat. I'm going to measure 9 inches. 9 inches. And you're going to measure up from there uh, 1 inch. So I'm actually just going to draw this line right in. So the whole width of the tail is going to be 3 inches. So let's actually mark three inches. So here I just drew that, this is that one inch line I just drew here. And I'm gonna make a mark at three inches. Right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side at three inches. You can connect these lines if you'd like. You don't really have to. I'm just gonna do it just for sake of simplicity. Now we're gonna be looking for the center of this line. And so nine inches divided by two would be four and a half. So at the four and a half mark, I'm gonna make a line. And you're going to make this portion of the tail, you want this to be one inch at the top. So you can see here's the number four and here's the number five. I'm going to make a line between the four and the five. Okay, awesome. And now also measure out an inch on the other side here. Now I'm going to connect these lines. I'm going to connect the top of this line to here. And I'm going to connect the top or this dot to this other side. Okay. So there you go, that is your smaller tail, your smaller wing. Okay, so now just cut it out with the utility knife. Now we're going to be making the actual tail, and we're going to be using this section of the balsa wood that you still haven't used. So you're using that whole piece of balsa wood that you got, so there's going to be pretty much no waste. So you've already made a mark here at your 3 inch mark, you're going to connect that line. Great. Okay, and you're going to continue this line across the other side, so I'm going to measure up to three inches. It's my three inch mark, and I'll connect the dots. So you're just continuing that line from the other side. And you can see most of your tail is almost ready to be made. Now you just need to make a one inch mark at the top here. So I'm going to be making, I'm going to measure out one inch, and now you're going to connect again the dots. So here we already have that one inch mark from before. And now you're just going to be connecting to that corner there. There you go, now you can just cut that out. Okay, so the next step is to put the smaller wing and the larger wing and the tail into the body of the airplane. So here we have that area we cut out for the larger wing. And uh, actually what happened was I had to cut a little bit more out the center portion. I used a utility knife and I also used a screwdriver just to push a little bit more through so I can fit the wing through. So just slide it through. You might need to go back and forth. Alright, so our wing is on. And you can kind of see that it has a little bit of a buckle. You might want to re-wet the wing itself and make sure that it's nice and even. Okay, so to add this tail piece, we've already added the smaller wing. And actually, I'm going to glue this in with the hot glue gun. I'll just do that by adding a little bit of hot glue along this line here in this corner. Okay, and now we're going to add the tail. So now we're just going to add a little bead of hot glue down the middle. And we're going to add a little bit along the edges as well. Now the next step would be to take your rock and we have our clip. And we're going to be putting that on to the front portion of the airplane. And to do that, I'm just going to be putting the actual rock in the clip first. And then you're going to be clipping it onto the airplane itself. Fold these down. And we're going to get a little piece of duct tape and we're going to wrap it around there. So you can see I added the duct tape to the end of the weight just to hold it on. Again, you probably don't need this clip. You could probably just duct tape the rock on or any other weight. But I like to do this. So let's see how this flies. Let's just do a little test run of the super balsa wood airplane. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. Well, let's see how this flies. One, two, three. Oh. Again, this, like I said, this might take a little bit of uh, manipulating to get it right, but eventually you will. Ready? One, two, three.